Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about class name in React, conditional styling, and finally at the end of this video I'm going to talk about class names package, which is a good option for us for uh, handling conditional styling in React.js. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, uh, don't forget to do it now, because in this way you don't miss anything of my future videos. Okay, uh, I have prepared this template for this tutorial because I'm not into long YouTube videos, so I decided to uh, make everything ready before this and we just concentrate on our work in this video. It is a simple React.js application and here I have uh, my app component and within it I have a div class name is app and here I have h3 for this header and also I have a div for my box as you can see it here it has a title bar which is this uh, p tag and here I have a another div for uh, keeping my description and as you can see it's my CSS code for these elements. I want to uh, make it functional. When I click on it, it should collapse. And when I click on it again, it should open for me. So let's jump in the coding section. At the first, I need a state in order to store the current state of my box should it be open or not so i'm gonna use react hooks to uh, access to the state so is open and set is open function i should use use state here and the default value should be false so at the first, I want this box to be closed. So here inside the description class, I'm going to set display to none. Yeah. And here I need a function to be called when the user clicks on this header section. So on click should be let me first write my function here const on click header and this is gonna be another function and within it i just want to set this open actually i want to toggle the value so uh, is open yeah just use it here Okay, as you can see here, uh, we, because we haven't applied the correct uh, CSS class to this uh, box, we cannot see the visual effect. So I just need to add another class. Let's write it here. Box description active. And just I want to set the display to black. Okay, here I should check. Uh, it's better to use tick back ticks instead of carry braces. And yeah, I need to write it in this way. And now I can get access to my variables within this text context. And I just want to check is open if it was true then uh, we don't need any special class otherwise it should add this creation active yeah sorry I made a mistake if it was open I need to activate description active class otherwise I don't need any other class Okay, let's see it. Yeah. 
as you can see it works perfectly for us okay let's do it using class names function because in this way you probably need more classes and your code won't be clean in that way but if you use this uh, package uh, everything would be in a better way okay you just need to head over to npmjs.com package class names uh, website and here there are instructions to install class names package I am going to install it here okay it's installed and the usage is like this one but there are some extra options that you can use let me explain to you uh, here I don't need it anymore I just want to have description if uh, class by default and description active class if there is open uh, value uh, will be true so I just need to call class names I need to import it first of all let me see I think I should do it in this way import class names from class names and uh, it's a uh, some kind of function and I can pass for example description to it and as you can see the description class added and uh, for example I can pass an object uh, in order to do the conditional styling so uh, what was it description active equals to is open so uh, the class name function first of all add description class to the this div and then we'll check if the is open value uh, was true it will add also description active to this element so let's see it yeah as you can see it works same as before but here we can also have other classes for example uh, green active and again for example is open and I can add green active and change the background color to green so let's see it yeah as you can see it works perfectly uh, yeah that's it it was so easy uh, I just have one question from you guys uh, my question is how do you usually handle uh, conditional styling in react.js what is your solution for it because I'm so curious about it and uh, you can share your thoughts in the comment section below in order to me and others uh, learn from you thank you guys for watching for more information you can watch these videos